In the 1200, there were a group of people in the north of Spain and south of France called the Cathars. They called themselves good men or just Christians. Yet, they were killed and persecuted by the Vatican and the Catholic Church only for one reason, they believed the truth. They had in their own hands the Bible translated into their own language and for that reason they were persecuted. We have done an exposition of pictures dealing with the history and testimony of those men. In these pictures you are able to see the castles and the places where they live, but also the visitor will be able to realize how much they suffer for the Lord Jesus Christ. In some of the pictures you can see the instruments of torture that were used to kill those that believe in the truth. We wrote two books dealing with the history of the Albigensians, Cathar Land, the story of the Bible in the Catalan countries, is one book where we develop all the documentation, all the papers, and all the old writings of the Catharis. That book we showed that the Catharis were very important in the history of Catalonia, Aragon, and the south of France. The other book was called the Albigensian Banner or the Cathar Banner. There we remember the words of the Psalm 60 where we read, Thou hast given a banner to defend for the truth. We believe that in the same way that they did in the past, we have a banner today, the Word of God. That was the Catharist Banner and we want to defend it, to preach it, and to be faithful to the Word of God and to the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. They were accused of being heretics, dualists, Manichaeans. Many wrong things were said about them. But the only reality is that they were faithful to the Word of God and to the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. They were persecuted. As a Bible remnant, they were killed by the Pope. And yet still, the influence of their faith changed many lives in our own history. The history of Catalonia, what the British used to call Cathar land, the land of the Cathars. We realize the cruelty that was applied to those that believe in the truth. Yes, they were faithful even unto death. We want to use this exposition of pictures as a testimony of truth, a testimony to the remnant.
The flag of the Cathars has become one example of the mixture of culture, history and language. The flag was used during the battle against the Albigensians. It was the coat of arms of the Cathars. The same flag today can be seen in many areas of our region combined with the four stripes, red and yellow, of the Catalan flag. The cross of Christ is also our banner. Is the cross of Christ what we want to center in our ministry, in our work for Him? The Albigensian banner became a symbol of what they were fighting for, the truth and faithfulness to the Word of God and to the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. As they did in the past, we follow their own example. We want to be faithful to the testimony of the Word of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Through this book, I try to prove my thesis. Every time a Bible translation was accomplished, a new remnant will appear. Every time the people were able to read the Word of God in their own original language, God raised up churches and many people became saved. This was the real story of the Albigensians. When they were able to translate the Bible into their own language, a whole group of people raised up in the land of the north of Spain, in the south of France, that they believed the Bible. They were not heretics. They were not Manichaeans. They were true Christians that were against the Pope and the teachings of Rome. But they were faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ and to the testimony that he gave. We have received their influence in our own land. Actually, the name Catalonia comes from the term Cathar far away, Cathar Union. Also, the British call this region Cathar land, the land of the Cathars. From that name came our name today, Catalan, our influence, the influence of the Albigensians, still permanent today. I am holding in my hands the Word of God written in the Catalan language, the same language that the Cathari or the Albigensians spoke. Actually, this Catalan Bible has been translated from the same Greek text that the Albigensian Bible was translated. As we hold it today, we thank the Lord for years of work with this text. I am so thankful to the Lord for the opportunity I had to have a small part in the work of this Bible. I did proof reading for it, and as I was reading the Bible in my Catalan language, I realized how much we needed to give this Bible to the people here in Catalonia. It is a big challenge what we have in front of us. We need to reach the people in Catalonia, 11 million people, with their own language. We don't have many hymns written in Catalan. Uh, children material have to be translated. We have to keep on working so many other people, Catalan people, will hear about the true story of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in that way, we will follow the same example of the remnant. Those that in the years 1200 were able to give their life for the Lord Jesus Christ.